Here we have an archer fish which catches its prey by spitting at it. So when it spots an insect up in the air, it spits a drop of water and it kind of hits the insect and the insect falls into the water. And if you don't believe me, I've googled up this picture of archer fish. Now the situation that they've given in this problem is that the, there is an insect which is at a distance d from the fish and the angle the straight line makes with the horizontal or the surface of the water is alpha. And what they're asking us is, what should be the angle of spit so that the drop of water hits the insect at the top of the parabolic path that the drop of water would make? Now, you, you would know that if, if the fish tries to hit the insect straight at an angle alpha, the drop of water will go up, but under the force of gravity, it'll keep coming down and it'll miss the target. You know, it'll... it'll fall below the insect. So it needs to elevate the angle of spit, let's say it's angle theta, so that the parabolic path that the drop of water takes hits the insect at the top of the parabolic path. So let us say that the angle of spit is theta. So this is the angle of spit and let's say this is theta and it spits at a velocity v. So the trajectory, let's say this is velocity v or v naught. So the trajectory that the, the drop of water would take would probably be something like this. It goes up, 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 and at the top of the parabolic path, it hits the insect. And if the drop of water were to continue, it would come down like this so that you get a range R, which is this. Now let's assume that the coordinates of the insect are X and Y. Let's label them X and Y. And if the fish is at the origin, so this distance would be X, which would be R by two, since this is the top of the parabolic path, this distance has to be R by two, and Y is nothing but the maximum height. So what we need to do is, find the value of x and the value of y. So we know that x is equal to r upon 2 and we also know that range is given by v0 square sine 2 theta upon g. So therefore x would equal to v0 square sine 2 theta upon 2 g. And we know that the maximum height of a projectile y would be given by v naught square sine square theta upon 2g and and you can kind of also derive these equations so these these have already been derived in the earlier lessons so now once we know x and y the problem becomes pretty simple now we have tan of alpha therefore equal to opposite side upon base and here the opposite side is the maximum height which is y and we write it as v naught square sine square theta upon 2g upon the base and the base would be and the base would be x which is v naught square sine 2 theta upon 2g. And if you simplify this, what you'll find is that tan alpha is equal to half tan of theta, which gives theta is equal to tan inverse of 2 times tan alpha. And in this question, alpha has been given as equal to 36 degrees. So if we substitute the value of alpha is 36, what you'll find is theta would equal to 55.5 degrees. So the fish needs to spit the drop of water at an angle of 55.5 degrees so that the drop of water catches the insect at the top of its parabolic path. Now you'd also notice something interesting that nowhere in derivation of the angle did we make use of this distance d which shows that this distance d doesn't really matter. What matters is what is the initial angle uh, that the straight line between the mouth of the fish and the insect makes with the 
horizontal.